the reflection, uh, I would st uh, start um, uh, from, uh, these are notes that I wrote in Italian, so I, I have to uh, be translate when I, when I talk and I have to read a bit. But uh, uh, I can say that uh, the reflection ar around the, uh, the idea of what uh, uh, has been the meaning for me of making music uh, in all these years, and uh, um, I have to say that uh, uh, music uh, uh, gave me the possibility uh, in my life uh, to, to go in the best uh, places, uh, uh, in, in the most beautiful places uh, uh, of, uh, my, of my life and uh, that music gave me the strongest emotions and uh, I would say that uh, music has been my greatest love of my life. Um, uh, it started when I was uh, uh, a little kid because uh, my mother was, uh, uh, was a pianist, an amateur pianist and uh, she was playing some uh, classical music uh, for me and my two sisters. And uh, she, was not, uh, <coughs> she was not at all a, a virtuoso uh, pianist, uh, but uh, actually it was very interesting because uh, she was playing uh, some uh, music from uh, Chopin or Bach. And uh, it was very... Uh, she, uh, she was playing it in a very personal way, as, uh, for example, I would say, uh, as someone is reading a, a newspaper or a book. Uh, and uh, so when you're reading uh, a book, uh, sometimes uh, you wander around some... Uh, um, around a phrase, of around a, f a word, and maybe suddenly you go back uh, and read it again, and then maybe you stop for some seconds and you look out of the window to see the, the trees uh, moving. Uh, and uh, this was very fascinating because I got a, pers a perspective of that music uh, completely wrong uh, in a way. But uh, uh, there was um, a sort of uh, magic of this aroma uh, um, that was very similar because uh, the re her repertoire was uh, quite uh, small, uh, Bach Chopin and some uh, uh, French songs uh, for children that she was playing to me and to my sisters. And uh, the most of the times I was uh, hearing uh, the sound of this piano uh, from uh, my room, so there was a, a sort of distance from uh, the, the instruments divided by the wall. And, uh, but this uh, music, uh, this sound was uh, uh, very inspiring and warming for me um, because uh, uh, I was uh, maybe lying on my bed uh, uh, looking uh, at some uh, cartoons uh, and, and sometimes I was stopping to listen to that music. On the other side of the, of the house, uh, I had two older sisters that uh, were doing uh, uh, something uh, completely opposite because uh, they, were, um, they were playing records uh, from uh, all the fantastic bands from that uh, period of uh, the history that was uh, the uh, early 60s. So I started to listen to the Beatles, uh, the Rolling Stones and uh, Jimi Hendrix. And this um, uh, combination of uh, different music uh, uh, created a sort of uh, background of uh, what I, uh, what ended to be my in future interest uh, uh, in, in music. Because uh, from then on, I, I started to, uh, to play piano and then I bought also a guitar and I was um, listening to a lot of different uh, uh, types of music and, 
and this uh, in a way uh, created the, the seeds uh, for me for uh, uh, my future interest in uh, classical music uh, but at the same time uh, in, uh, in a lot of uh, uh, popular music of the time and uh, mm, and so uh, uh, in a way created also a, co a conflict uh, that I uh, tried uh, to solve uh, in, in the future uh, for my music because uh, um, uh, in a way, uh, mm, I was playing uh, with the guitar some blues music, so uh, very early I started to, um, uh, to be interested in the music uh, from the point of view of uh, uh, creation, not uh, uh, just uh, about the idea of performing the, uh, something that was uh, written already. But, um, my perspective was always uh, um, uh, connected with the idea of uh, making something uh, crea creative with music. Actually, uh, um, it, it could sound strange to say here, but I, I never had the, the desire, the real desire to, uh, or the, yeah, the, the expectation of myself of becoming a pianist. Uh, I studied piano, but uh, 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 my, my vision wa was always uh, uh, connected to composition and, uh, as I was saying, uh, to create something uh, new. Uh, and, um, mm, um, of course, uh, uh, the when I was in my 20s, uh, my, uh, or even uh, before, the, the idea of what I could do with the with my with music was very uh, cloudy. Uh, I didn't have, uh, I didn't um, mm, even thought uh, uh, that I could do that, that I could uh, become a real musician. Uh, and uh, mm, uh, maybe I didn't uh, even had. Uh, uh, that uh, self-confidence that uh, that you need to have, uh, and um, I think uh, uh, it's only when I met uh, a few years later, in my early twenties, um, a person that, uh, in a way, changed my perspective. Uh, that was uh, uh, that became my maestro and my teacher also my spiritual maestro, that was uh, the composer, Italian composer Luciano Berio. Uh, he, was, uh, um, he was born in 1925 uh, in Italy and uh, um, spent uh, some years in America. Then uh, uh, he was living in, in Paris for a few years and then came back to Italy in the, uh, I would say, at the end of the 70s. Um, uh, in his music, uh, I could uh, I could hear, uh, compared to other composers of the um, of the period of the avant-garde music, where I was in a way coming from studying from uh, the conservatory, uh, I I could hear some um, uh, very interesting uh, uh, and different point of view and connections. Uh, Related with uh, with folk music, uh, with uh, jazz, uh, uh, with uh, he also did some uh, transcriptions of uh, Beatles music, and um, mm, when I met him, uh, he was very immediately uh, very open to me, and uh, actually we we had a dinner one time. Uh, one evening after a lecture he did in Milano. And uh, uh, he, uh, immediately after the dinner, uh, asked me if I wanted to, um, to get a job uh, from him uh, and, helping, uh, and help him uh, to transcribe some music uh, that he needed to transcribe for a concert. And uh, so uh, I started this uh, uh, relation with uh, what in the next few years became uh, my uh, really my spiritual uh, point of uh, 
reference uh, because uh, mm, he was not only interested in uh, what I was doing uh, uh, and uh, immediately asked ask me to transcribe uh, some, some of my music for a, an orchestra that he was going to conduct. Uh, but he gave me, uh, the, in a way, the confidence that I was looking for. And so from then on, I started to, to see uh, um, more light uh, in what, was, uh, what seemed to be very cloudy before. Um, and um, of course, uh, it took me uh, even more years to uh, to find uh, uh, the connection. I think uh, I it's uh, uh, for me uh, making music. Uh, um, it's all about uh, connecting. Uh, what I was doing uh, uh, with the sounds, uh, with something that was connected deeply with my uh, inner feelings. Uh, I started, um, because I, uh, if, I, if I think uh, back, uh, I, I, at the beginning I was, um, when I was working with Barry also, I was uh, experimenting uh, with the different languages of uh, avant-garde music uh, with uh, 12 tone uh, systems uh, and uh, uh, actually, it was very uh, interesting from a point of view of um, uh, the intellect. Uh, it was very interesting to um, uh, to build a composition around uh, and explore the, the possibility of uh, writing music, uh, uh, connecting uh, with uh, relations of numbers and durations. But then. Uh, uh, there were um, there was something very uh, very cold about it that didn't uh, satisfy me. Uh, I remember I was realizing that only uh, there were moments uh, in those uh, scores that I was writing at the time where I was uh, more um, connected with myself and uh, open and free to to do whatever I wanted. And those moments of the music uh, uh, were the, the only one that uh, uh, opened uh, a sort of uh, fire uh, inside the music uh, and, and was the only uh, moment that I, I really enjoyed to listen after. So uh, I started to, uh, uh, to move away from that uh, idea of ma making music uh, with numbers and uh, concentrate more in an idea that I, um, I wanted to, uh, to try to forget everything I, w I learned and try to establish uh, uh, some uh, rules that were my rules uh, and to find a language uh, that uh, could uh, embrace uh, all the all the music that I loved, and uh, coming back to uh, to what I was listening when I was a child, uh, so uh, the idea that uh, you can um, um, uh, work in a in a way uh, following uh, uh, certain forms of classical music, but at the same time I was looking for the uh, the beauty uh, and the in a language uh, that is very direct and simple that uh, <laughs> is like a uh, language that um, it's not so detached from uh, uh, from the world uh, as uh, uh, is a sort of poetic uh, academic language but is uh, more uh, like a music that uh, could be closer to uh, the way uh, you can talk uh, when you're talking to a person uh, in a direct way. And this, uh, uh, in, in music, I could feel it, uh, th this directness, I could find it uh, in the songs, uh, in some folk songs, uh, in the way, I don't know, folk singers, uh, um, uh, 
folk music uh, bands uh, were writing uh, beautiful songs in the, in the era when I was uh, growing up. So uh, I started to, um, to develop this, uh, uh, this idea of music and explore the possibility of writing uh, very simple things uh, with the piano, uh, mm, because the piano for me was um, uh, in a way connected to uh, that sound of my mother playing uh, at home, but at the same time it was very it was like uh, mm, going back to the essential uh, skeleton of music where you just have your hands, uh, you have uh, <laughs> black and white keys, and uh, you cannot uh, hide yourself uh, behind uh, too many colors, uh, and you have to, to search for the perfect balance uh, of uh, what you want to do and um, and so I started to to write uh, uh, some uh, some pieces that were uh, in a way close to the idea of um, instrumental songs and uh, mm, uh, in a way uh, with this idea I found uh, my home it was like uh, um, having uh, thinking of the piano as my little boat, uh, sailing boat where I could um, take the wind and go uh, and, uh, and just uh, be myself uh, without uh, having to care too much about anything else uh, and without having mm, to follow any other rules rather than uh, what I wanted to do. And uh, of course, uh, uh, this was uh, not an easy process because uh, uh, sometimes uh, um, I remember at the time I was uh, uh, in, a, um, in a way accused uh, from the academic uh, musical scene uh, mm, that my, uh, my road was uh, sort of uh, uh, going uh, in a direction that was easy to do and uh, uh, that I was choosing to do uh, something, uh, choosing like an easy way. But uh, for me it was uh, really, an, really a need uh, to, to find a connection with myself and uh, with my emotions. And this is uh, what I started to do and what I'm still doing now.